on floor number one. Do we have a privilege on nope. floor number one? Reggie is here for a specific item. So. Okay. Ooh. Oh, you okay? Yeah, I'm all right. Do you, um, I, I just want to say Joe Ducharme is available yeah. if you want him to call in, if you have questions about the water and sewer projects. Um, he's available from now until about 3.45, and then he's, he has another meeting that he has to go into. Um, I don't know if you, I don't think Reggie's thing is that long. If, yeah. Reggie, if do you, you want to wanna call Reggie first and let's get, yeah. uh, let her get out and is enjoy this okay? beautiful day? No, I, I have it right here, Reggie. With you. Um, okay, okay, so, so don't, don't want to have a question or update. Is that correct? That's correct, and it starts on. I'm just looking for my notes here. Uh, page 35, the numbered pages. Okay. Page 35 is where the domicile questionnaire. There are little numbers right. in the bottom right hand. Uh, what am I looking at here now? No, you're you're oh, yeah. looking at your packet, the electronic copy that oh, I the sent electronic. you. Oh, the electronic. Yeah. Okay. Uh, right. There's a number in the bottom. Right. Yeah. yeah. Right. right. Bill's so, getting to his packet. Reg, do you want to give us an update on why this came to our attention? Well, I just was informed by. Um, uh, are then Mark? Mark. Yeah. Um, so as I wrote in the packet, I there was a recent court case, and Reggie has a copy of it, and um, we've we've looked at it. There was a recent court case. Um, decided by the New Hampshire uh, Supreme Court, Anne-Marie Gare versus the state of New Hampshire that had to do with the differences between domicile and residency as they related to voting issues. Mm -hmm. So okay. I took our domicile questionnaire and I sent it to town council because I wanted to make sure we were in compliance with the decision. Um, and in his review, he had asked me a series of questions about the selectman's role in the, in the domicile questionnaire process and why the selectmen were doing it, and we discussed it. He researched um, the state laws, and he determined and recommended to us that the selectmen not be a part of the, the determination of residency within the town. It is not a selectman power or function um, it is a town clerk function as it relates to Department of Motor Vehicles and registering cars. That's really the, the only place, and, and along with the voting, um, with the supervisors of the checklist. So, so did the state, the state in their regulations has a definition of domicile? Have they mm -hmm. changed that definition of domicile? No, they have not. They did not as a result of this court ruling. So that that's, is still the definition of domicile. That's correct. And if you look at the edits that he made uh, on the, he really just took the selectmen out and put, inserted the town clerk or DMV yep. agent. Mm -hmm. and, and Reggie and I discussed it, and you can chime in here, Reggie, if you'd like, but it's really a motor vehicle agent function, which is Sharon. Um, but Sharon, because she's our official uh, DMV agent, mm -hmm. usually in a town that DMV agent is the town clerk. Um, so I'm going to get the training. So she's, right. yeah, the Reggie's going to go get the training. Sharon will mm -hmm. stay as our agent, but Reggie will be supervising, quote unquote, and will make the determination per the questionnaire on the residency. So we have an elected <coughs> official who is mm -hmm. going to be reviewing the questionnaire and and making the changes. Okay. Does, does this also apply to that annual review we do? Or? Yes, Reggie, Reggie will do that in cooperation with the supervisors of the checklist okay. rather than, than you doing it okay. as a board. So what's been suggested in, in broad strokes mm -hmm. by town council yes. is after reviewing this court case, that we need to move the function to the town clerk from the board of select. That's correct. Anybody have a problem with that? No. Does the town clerk have a problem with that? No, mm -hmm. not at all. Yeah. Yeah. I, I I'd only make the comment that uh, again we should try. We should want someone should take a look at that questionnaire. I think some of those questions, and I know where they came from because mm -hmm. I was on the committee right. that were, essentially yeah. got to that to begin with, mm -hmm. are absolutely irrelevant. The and the only real question that has to get asked is having a person say, yes, this is my domicile. 
And if they declare it as their domicile, I, my opinion is I don't know what, what, why, why we're sitting here denying. Right. You know. Yeah. So for all intents and purposes, ninety nine percent of these, if they if they swear, I have a domicile and I live here, that's it. Right. And and we <laughs> did verify with the motor vehicle office that there is no set series of questions or anything. It's mm. purely up to the clerk to establish residency before registering the car in the town. That's right. all they have to do. Well, I mean, in some town, I think that some towns, just as an alternative, they, they, they require you to submit either a bill yeah, from an electric, an electric bill. company mm -hmm. or something like sure. that. Right? Yep. And yeah, that's it. We, we just need, I think, in our case, because of the large number of property owners who are actually living in other states or in other towns, I think we, the town clerk will just need to make a determination in how we actually establish that residency. So, but I think, you know, the questionnaire, we could probably take some of the questions out, but it's, it would really be up to you. I, I certainly have no, I mean, as yeah. long as the town clerk is fine yeah. with this, but uh, okay. you know, I, I just don't think of it as, we shouldn't agonize sure. over these things. No, 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 absolutely. Okay. Right. Right. So, do so you're okay. I don't think you need to vote or anything. I just wanted mm -hmm. to make sure that we we're all on the same page, and we're going to make the changes, and you're okay. no longer going to see the domicile questionnaires. Excellent. Okay. All right. I think I think what we'd like is every few months just an updated residency list to see how we're doing as far as gaining or losing people. Yep. All right. We can provide that. I mean, we're still going to maintain our list, the unofficial list okay. that Sharon has. So. All right. Okay. Now, what you said, we've only got Joe Ducharme for... Till 345. So right. if we can skip to that, and why don't you tell us why we're talking to Joe Ducharme? Well, you don't have to talk well, to Joe Ducharme, but I'm just saying, if you have questions, if you look at the I've second... I've got questions. No, I know. It's like, what are we doing? Why are we doing this? Okay, so... Uh, you know, why wasn't this in our planning initially? Well, it, it has been in our planning initially. We put the line under the road because we were, so let me back up. We, he, Joe Ducharme has continued to do design work to connect, put in the well function at well four, connect that to the well two area make some improvements at Wellhouse One. That's basically option one, which is right. up here. That's what we agreed. On that's <coughs> what we were going to do. This is right. what we've agreed to. We have, because it's, it's, it's always cost more than our budget amount that we had remaining, but we still what could. Well, you also have the existing budget. The 306 is in addition to the existing budget. Of grants. Of grants. And how much are we spent of the grant? Go to the. Right now, we have eight hundred nineteen thousand left. We would add three hundred and six thousand to that, giving us one million one hundred and twenty-six thousand dollars. Now let's let's in let's, grant let's, money. Okay, let's make it simple. The first, let's take the first piece. Yep. So let's let's assume that we authorize version two. Correct. And there's a 20% cost overrun to do all this work. Where does yep. that money come from? Is that from grant money, or would that have to come out of the town's pocket? Uh, we would not do, we would have to pare down the project at that point. If bids came in and they were 20% higher than the 885, then we would have to change the option. Or we, we, we would have to pony up the money. Well, yeah, but I'm not proposing to you guys right here, right now, that we do that. That we, we would have to change what we want to do if the bids come right. in now, higher than we expect. My understanding, it, it roughly, when you go through this then, is that we have a lot more grant money left than, than the two of the additional 300 we're going to use now. The incremental 300 well, you're asking you, for you now. Have, you, you have administration money, you have engineering money, there are right. still costs that are, I'm, I'm talking. So does this, on paper, Yes. if we go to two, does yes. that wipe out 100% of the additional it, grant money? It leaves us a contingency probably around, because he uh, Joe does not change any of the administrative right. or engineering costs with option two. 
So we end up with about, I think it was 80 to $100,000 in contingency. So part of this number includes 80 to 100,000 in contingency that's, in the estimates. That's correct. I don't have to do the exact math. No, no, but just yeah. so I have an idea. Yeah. And that uses then technically through all of the different things, that's the limit. We can't that apply for any more. That's correct. Which brings us up to the 1.5 or the 1.3. Correct. One okay. six or the one three. That's, which one that's does it bring us up to? It brings us up to the one six. Okay. Yeah. So now we're three hundred short of doing this. That's correct. I got. It. I think I. Is that? I mean, I, now uh, just a couple of comments. I I would think we should ask what would it take to fix the sewer and see if we could get rural development right. to do okay. that. And if we need to pair back something in here let's pair it back okay but I but if they're willing to pay to get that river road situation right the first thing we ought to do is get that river road situation right okay I mean you know whatever it is so we want to take a look at that option okay Margaret any thoughts no I, th I think I understand what what uh, Mark was explaining um, I'm, I'm a little concerned that um, that 302,000, I, I don't have a sense for how easy we think it's going to be to do that. I mean, if we go through the paperwork, uh, are we guaranteed that the Revenue Administration people will say? No, the commissioner has not told us. The commissioner of DRA makes the final decision. Right. The director of municipal services and our point of contact have already talked about this. The, the option that they gave us with you guys holding the public hearing and submitting this letter, it it came from them. Okay. They said this is the best way to do this. Okay. So this is just, all this is, is a paperwork, it's a paperwork thing to get around thing. the state the, law. The money, is, the money is all there in the grant. We what, just need what, to appropriate What the unknown is, is whether the, the USDA will approve That's correct. the incremental work. That's right, and that's or the, even any of this work. But we, don't, we, we don't even know whether they'll approve option one in theory. In theory, all the details, yeah. but they have they have already they have approved. They the signed off on concept. That's right. Do you? They, they they but they have not signed off on concept number two of option two because we don't we don't want to present anything to them that we can't fund because we don't want them to approve it and say go ahead build it if we don't have the money. So. We need the money first. Yeah, well, it's not that we need the money. We need the authorization right. to be able to overspend an appropriation. I just got to be careful because you say we need the money. What? We don't need any money. It's all coming from that, them. That's right. I'm sorry. So, yes, so we need the what, authorization, authorization to, spend yes. to spend it. That's correct. All right. The money is there. It's just right. we've well, got to Well, eventually get it'll, I don't know how, what you're saying, what do they the actually grant. do? They pay us? They give us a yes. check for this we, stuff? We pay and then they give us a check. That's All the way right. they've so already been doing So we just need it. a little, maybe we have to borrow a little bit of money for some float or something here, but not yeah. very much. No. Right. Okay. All got right. it. All right. Uh, Rob, are you here on the water issue? Is that yes. Right? He's yeah. the, do you have any comments? Uh, other than option two would make it a lot easier on the operating stamp coming through. So would you be able to collect all your samples at one location instead of going to two? Yeah. Easier access for you guys in the winter too, things like easier that. Easier access in the winter. Um, you do have to go down in the, down below in number one. It's not a very nice place down there. So, so two things I've heard in here that I, I'd ask Joe Duchamp if, if one is how can we finagle a way to get the river road work done? Yeah. Well, I yeah. don't think finagle is the word. I think it's a necessity. I, to I apologize to the microphone. Yeah. Finagle right. was the wrong yeah. word. <laughs> but I we know, need I to get river road fixed. Yeah. <laughs> no, I think river road is meaning that it's our, this is a yeah, project right. that was funded, yeah. <laughs> but it is not completed yeah. to, to a working and, order. And we will, we will talk to rural development about that. And, and we have an option in your packet about river road. And, we, right. and yes. if we're going to put a standby generator in, Mm -hmm. uh, you know, as part of this additional work, is there some way we can find a way to get that back connected to that transfer switch out on well four, so that if the power goes down, well, there's got to be a power line going out there, right? Well, the power line, the power line, would come out the of power line comes here out of this substation bill, okay. and we put a conduit here, right? That feeds to well four, so, so we don't not even have close. a connection. It's not close. 
And right. yeah. So and, okay, well, and that right. came from the co-op because of the yeah. length of the run. It actually is shorter to go this way, so they wanted yeah, no, to, no, 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 no. to so minimize that. The so co-op can't the, other run thing, the other thing I might comment on is that the size of the pump at well four is significantly, and I mean significantly smaller than any of the pumps at any of the other wells. Just because because we're going to initiate with the atmospheric tank, gravity feed all the way down to pump house. So all we have to do is move the water from the pump. We don't have to pump it. We just to have here. to pump it up. We just got to pump, pump it into the tank. Side. And in fact, we had a siphon situation. That's why the atmospheric tank is set up here. To break the siphon. To break the siphon yeah. because we don't There's want. option to impact this at all in terms of timing. We haven't done any of this work. We've we have got to get done. it all done before the frost comes this year. Does any of this, any of this additional work in any way impede we, our ability to get it done on time? We cannot do this work by December. We, we will ask as part of the additional grant money, uh, we will ask rural development for an extension. So uh, now if we go with option one, can we get this work done this year? Um, we can get all of the outdoor work no. done. No, it's no. We, we yeah. won't get all of the work done by the end of the year. We will have all of the outside work done, but we will not get all of the inside so the work done. So the new well... We will ask... We will not we will be able be to asked, use... With my, what we've done to me is we're able to use water from the new well. Yes. We, we, would we will this have year? the connection done this year. Yeah, we will but, not have all of the distribution work and the work inside the building done by the end of the year. Well, answer it, it's a simple question. Yes. By January one. Yes. Can we use some of the water from this new well? Only if you go there and scoop it. No. <laughs> no. Is that what I'm hearing? No. I I would say that all the distribution will not be done by January okay. one. Now, do so, we need an extension? On yes, that? we will get an extend. We will, will they get give an, us extension an extension on that. We have already asked the question. We do not have the answer yet. Okay. Anything else, Bill? No. All right. I don't think so. It may so, something may come to yeah. my mind later on, but right, uh, right now I understand. Okay, we'll hold off till the end of the meeting to make a motion on this. Okay, something. Do we need a motion to go? Well, wh I guess what I would I is it okay to schedule a public hearing next week? to get this because like bill said i mean the timing of this is the issue all you have to do is give 24 hours notice yeah. that's the legal requirement i'd like to have a little more time we'll put it on the website we'll send nixels out that we're holding the public hearing etc i i would right. recommend that we hold the public hearing next wednesday it's your regular meeting you, you have date? something next Wednesday. You have something? Oh, no, only in the morning. Okay. Yeah, I mean, if right. we did a Do 3 o'clock meeting next Wednesday, would that be okay? Uh, we so. actually expect somebody to come to this Well, thing. I want to give them the opportunity. Right. I don't want to... Well, um, this is it's going to be challenging to explain. We need the authorization to spend money, but we don't need the money. <laughs> significantly overspent or unexpectedly overspent. Um, recreation continues to do well uh, revenue-wise. So she's getting a lot of sign-ups for the summer camps and things like that. So the 23 or 22.5% there is, is very good for this time of year. Um, I don't have anything specific unless you have a question on expenditures or revenue. No. Uh, our general assistance issue uh, is how yeah, does that proceed? Take, it's quieted down. Quieted down quite mm -hmm. a bit. Okay, excellent. Yep. All right, Margaret, any questions? No. Bill? No. All right, let's move on. Uh, calendar review the next, we're going to have a public hearing on the 17th. Yeah. The next meeting is the 24th. Everyone in for that? Yep. Yes. All right. Excellent. Health Trust membership renewal resolution. And I'm sorry for the well, number they gave of us pages. A lot of paper, yeah. Well, I just wanted to make sure because you're you're actually voting on several rev resolutions and things. Um, basically, every five to seven years, um, we renew our membership. It doesn't yeah. change anything really. 
Um, it it uh, Peter Bragdon did highlight the the things that basically they bring them up to current federal regulations and the as a trust, result, this is the what? health insurance, right. the health insurance yeah. trust that that's all right. of the that many of the municipalities sign right. in. That's correct. Okay. Is yeah. anyone else so, with a competitive you know, program to this? Is anyone approached we, this besides the health no, trust? No, um, we. We have not been approached by anybody. We have not um, gone out uh, and actively sought it only because their increases have been so low, okay. over the, especially the last five years. Now, the um, membership here implies what obligation on our part, any? No, we, we get, I mean, if we wanted to put our insurance some other place next year? Um, I mean, or does, this doesn't put How, seven years or five years does, obligate us to use them or anything, or uh, does it? I noticed a few times in the contract it has a 30-day kick-out clause. Yes. The, pro, the, the thing with the health trust is if you leave, that's okay, but you can't get back in for three years if you without decide a, to leave. If you decide to leave, you can't come back without a special vote by the board okay. to get us, let us back in. I've done that once. I got burned in Farmington by a private health okay. insurance. All right. So what kind of motions do we need to make on this? Um, the first is to Allow the resolution you. at uh, page 11 of the packet. It says that the town shall participate as a member of the health trust pooled risk uh, management program for medical and other benefit plans in accordance with the application agreement that I'm hoping me, town manager, is hereby authorized and directed to execute and deliver all the paperwork, and that uh, I'm authorized to do so. So that's okay. the resolution okay. that you're voting on, the right. first one. Well, let's, shall we make this resolution to have Mark be our representative of the health trust, sure. and to also allow him to sign documents on our behalf? I'll so second that. that. Yeah. Oh, okay. okay. Aye. And then the resolution on page 18 is our combining because we are pooled additionally with the SAU 48 group and uh, some of the member towns of SAU 48. And if we want to continue to do that, which I would recommend that we do because it does help our loss experience by giving us more members that you would be resolved that we participate in the combination of, ma of members for rating purposes? Um, I will move that. Are you okay with that? Yeah. I, I think it helps okay. us. Okay. I'll second the motion. All in favor? Aye. Aye. And that you authorize me to sign the retiree billing services and the COBRA billing services agreements, which are at page 24 and page 30. Um, they're, they're the standard agreements uh, they take care of. Instead of us paying the premium and then billing the retirees and having them pay the town, we just do it through the health trust. And the same thing with COBRA situations. So if, if you're okay, yeah. these are good agreements, I think, yeah. for us being so right. small. You okay with that? Yep, yeah, I'll, I'll, so I'll move it. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 All right. Thank you. Okay, roll development. We've done domicile questionnaire. We've done right. a PA28 form. PA28 form. The PA28 form is the um, it's the inventory of taxable property. We do not use it. Um, I would recommend that we continue to not use it. It is a pain in the butt and it doesn't do anything for us. I would just ask if you're in agreement with that, that we get a vote to not use the PA-28. What, and what is our alternative to not using it? What do we do? Instead? Our regular, our assessing, so our assessment, our assessing, assessing the way it is. Yeah. I don't, I think the town stopped using it in the 80s, the late 80s. A lot of communities stopped at that time. I think that's when the state gave us 
the flexibility to no longer use it. But this is an annual yeah. form. Would someone like to make a motion okay. to? I'll, I'll make a motion to not use the PA 28. I'll second that. All in favor? Aye. 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 Thank you. All right. Am I, am I an assessing? You are an assessing official. official. You are an assessor. All right. Shall we go to? Today is the today's the tenth. The tenth. Let's go to our tractor. Yeah. Questions. <laughs> yes. Uh, well, I'd I'd like you know as best you can or whoever's looked at this. What caused this accident? That's still under investigation. I uh, don't believe that Chris and they, nor Dave have had the opportunity to interview Nate as to what his version actually is. Am I correct in assuming that? Yeah. And it's not. It's a. It's not a police or fire. So. Uh, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not even thinking it, yeah. it might yeah, it's be. A, but it's a safety committee. It's a safety committee. Our town right. safety yeah. committee is supposed to interview him by our policy, and mm -hmm. they will do so as soon as he's available. So at this stage, you've ruled nothing out, Correct. including that it might, it might, for instance, hypothetically, might have been some equipment failure or might have been an inappropriate use of equipment under a certain situation? Could have been an operator, could have been equipment, could have been Anything is still possible. Yeah. When would you expect to have the investigation done? Um, I, I think all we really need to do is talk to Nate. And I'm not, I know he's just gotten out of the hospital, um, and I don't know when he's going to be able to. Do we have a formal safety committee? Yes, yes. Um, maybe we ought to bring the safety committee one of these days to a selectman's meeting. I, 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 I'm here, looking here, at. Here, 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 here. <laughs> yeah, there are members, there are employee members. Right. Who was on the safety committee? Dave and and Jim and So Karina we don't have anybody who's actually at, who actually does the work. Uh, well, I know you guys do the work. I'm sorry. <laughs> I apologize. Um, no, but we do not committee? have an official, I mean like a, well, not official, we don't have a professional safe loss manager or anything like that. Well, I the only thing that, that I'm you know, as I look at over the last five, six years, it seems we've had several lost time injuries, uh, more than one. Well, we had the police yeah. who got stung by mm -hmm. the tasers. We've had um, this one, and I don't know if there are any others. Well, we had some employee who's known. But I don't like that. Hurt. That track record is disturbing to me. And it's actually, uh, not not too bad. <laughs> Um, we, well, I'm used to no lost times accidents in, a, in an organization this size in 10 years. That would be my standard. That you, you know, none. <laughs> okay. Well, I don't want to see anybody get hurt. I mean, this guy could have gotten killed, right? Yeah. Yeah. We, um, we review every case and we, we make changes um, that come out of every case. Um, so. But yeah, we we, we will. Need to find out what the failure was. For yeah, I, absolutely. Yeah. yeah. I what I, what I'm suggesting is is you know I don't think we want to. Well, I know you want to. We don't gloss over this. I think this is important. No, absolutely. Yeah. And he's doing better. He's home. Yes, I, I uh, tried to check up with him today. Left him a couple of messages, but I haven't been able to contact him. We did visit him in the hospital, and uh, his spirits are good. He's just sorry that the that the accident happened. You know, and of course, uh, I think that given the drip he was on, I think his pride was uh, hurt more than. Uh, he was physical, but it wasn't given, given the what? Drip. The, oh, in the <laughs> hospital. In the yeah. hospital. <laughs> yeah. But um, I think that, uh, you know, he's uh, hopefully come out of it okay, and he's a good employee, so we don't want to lose him. Yeah, no, right. Yeah. Okay, great. Uh, Margaret, anything? No. No, we'll come back and report back to you okay. once they've well, had an opportunity. Well, where are you in terms of, I, you don't have a tractor now. Right, correct. Right. Well, adjuster, the adjuster just left okay. prior, to, prior to the start of the meeting. We were waiting for the adjuster to get here and look at yeah. it. Now, is it a total loss? We don't know yet. No. We're hoping it is. Okay, why are we hoping it is? Well, because it makes things that much easier. Well, it costs money if we I have to get a new one. It's going to, you know, it's going to cost, it would be a lot quicker to be able to 
excess a new tractor or a replacement tractor than it would be to fix the thing. This one's it pretty old, isn't it? It's 2001 according to the registration. The, the, the one thing that I'm concerned about is authorizing a replacement tractor uh, before we rule the tractor out in, in, in every aspect as the possible contributor to this accident. You know, um, so time is of the essence here. Mm -hmm. I, I know you got grass mm -hmm. growing, right. but uh, well, I we're going to just go buy another tractor. Is, no, we're, you know, we're going to have to. Right? We're going to have to use Lambert or some of the other property managers okay. because we need mowing done. It's not going to be at the level that we usually mm. have done um, for sure. Uh, Packard's field, I think, is too wet for the for the sidewalk tractor to, to oh, yes. go on. So we're going to have to have all of this done by a third party mm. in the interim. And what about bringing another empl temporary employee? Is there any plans for well, that? Well, we, we've been looking. The problem is mm. all of them are employed. The mm. people that you would want to mm. bring in are probably I, already I do have employed. I do have one person who's expressed an interest in uh, it would be temporary because the gentleman would be headed back to school about the first of September. Okay, well, we'll talk about him then. Okay, so we're not going to do anything about a tractor until we, you guys have investigated. We've got to get the report from the yeah. adjuster. We have to conclude the safety committee okay, findings. Okay, And we have to um, do our due diligence in selecting whatever replacement or and or fixing the, the present tractor. Yeah, the at some point in time, I you know I don't know, but it would seem to me that th this is this is industrial scale equipment. This is not. Yeah, it's this not, is not right, right. Right. This is not something that you have in your hmm. garden shed. Right. You know. So at the point in time that you look at this stuff, I, I mean. Can you buy tractors that have roll cages and seat belts and this this one? Yeah. Did. Yep. Oh. Was he wearing a seat belt? Uh, I haven't talked to him yet about that. Okay. Wasn't it wasn't it the roll bar that actually found we, his foot? We believe that's yeah. the case. Okay. All right. Uh well, we let's go water and sewer line repair options, and that'll get Jim out of here. Oh, I, I gotta be here for the presentation. Oh, you do? <laughs> All right. Well, so why don't we do the presentation? That gets okay. Craig, right, uh, Greg, and uh, Craig. Let's Jesus. do the presentation. Chris and Dave out of here. Okay. Um, just um, a side note: the Public Safety Academy is done, and we got our feedback back from our survey monkey we did and I think you might even have a link to look at those results and if you didn't we can get that to well you. I heard nothing but good feedback yeah, with some of the participants we were happy with what people were saying so um, for this we were tasked by the town core working group to come up with um, simple inexpensive um, quick fixes to um, make pedestrian and bicycle traffic here it is, to develop temporary low-cost options, enhance safety efficiency for the resort guests and residents, focusing on the cycling and pedestrian population. So we were tasked with that, um, I think it was last Wednesday or Thursday. So this is what we've come up with, go ahead. Um, <coughs> reducing the, the town speed limit to 25 miles an hour throughout town is probably the, one of the most important things to do in order to make this work. Um, and and we would say that if this doesn't happen, then the other things cannot happen. Um, so the first thing, one of the things we do is restrict the use of sidewalks to pedestrians only. And there's a, a, a template there or a um, stencil. stencil that we could put on the sidewalks um, focusing um, on the curb cuts. Um, where, where the curbs are cut, mm -hmm. to put those to keep bicycles off the sidewalk. 
um, and then integrate the bicycles into the flow of, of traffic um, with um, signs, the stencils in the road like that. The stencils in the road would probably be fairly small and just mm -hmm. off the uh, white line. Yeah, there's some examples. The yep. uh, it's an, yeah, that's just a representative. Yeah, re yeah representative. representative. Yep. Yeah. To be determined. Yep. Um, install uh, signs intermittently through town. Um, be share the road signs and bicycle friendly and bicycle route signs. Um, so the, the manual on uniform traffic control devices for streets and highways um, recommends um, this system for, for integrating cycles into regular traffic. Um, I'm sure we've all seen that bike route sign in various places through our travels. Um, so there's a standard for placing those. Um, so that's probably what we do is, is set those up through town. Um, I think a, another important thing is to encourage the resort to institute a campaign to promote walking and cycling in town with the goal to reduce motor vehicle volume. So I think that if guests were told that um, or encouraged to cycle and walk, I think you, you may even see that because I, I put it in perspective, if I went to a resort and they said, hey, we really try to park our vehicles and walk right. everywhere, I think I'd pay more attention to that if I was hearing it than just mm -hmm. trying to think of it myself. Um, so as you saw, there was different campaigns out there. So the target roads for this initial um, project would be just um, Valley Village, Tecumseh, Packards, Snowsbrook, and Boulder Path, the highlighted roads on that map. Um, so, th this is a uh, obviously a facsimile of how things <laughs> representing, <work. laughs> representing use speed yeah. limit signs, share the road, and that's kind of how the um, stencil may look. Um, Valley Road at Tecumseh. You can see the yep. Go ahead. A uh, question about mm -hmm. uh, Valley Road at Tecumseh and some of those places. Yeah, does that road? Need to the way it's marked today need to be that wide if the street if the speed limit's going down to twenty five. And we looked we looked at all that and um, you're right that those lanes can be shrunk down by a foot or, or eighteen inches each one with the speed limit going down. You could um, go with a single yellow line instead of a double yellow line and shrink it down even more. And you could almost I think we figured out you can almost get a uh, mm -hmm. three or four foot bike lane going both, mm. both Okay, ways. so you're going to think about that. Right. Yeah. I, I, the, re the reason I say it is it would seem to me that narrowing the lanes would have the effect yeah. of making people think, you know, slowing down. If they yeah. saw that yeah. funnel down a little bit, yeah. your inclination is right away to slow down. Right. A little no, bit. Right, but that's, that's, that is part but, of the bigger plan, the, yeah. the okay. follow-up, is yeah. to narrow the, the right. road lengths down. All right, all right, thank you. Um, I think that uh, another important thing would be to upgrade the defici deficiencies on the multi-use trails in the village area to make it more bicycle and pedestrian friendly. I think people would use those trails more right. if they were they were easier to to ride on. So where, where is that? Trail? That's um, right. behind the Golden Eagle. That's the village trail that goes from the beach. The one on the left oh, is the village oh, trail. Okay. It yeah. goes from the beach down to here eventually. All right. And then the. Um, the one on the right is the new trail that goes Connect out to the, the behind your house. well. Yeah, behind your house. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. So basically, making making yeah that that there. that trail, or, you know, is if you've got um, you know regular not for road bikes but for any other right. bike, it's or a wonderful stroller, trail. Yeah. You know, well, yeah. The, yeah. the goal is to take this other trail, and the mountain has said that they will come in with the machinery and add some. Right, Mike, in. you were there for that, and right. and uh, I talked to Jim yesterday, and he said he still hasn't heard from Bob. I, from who? Bart. I will follow up on this tomorrow. Oops. Remind me of this. And I'll, because they did make that commitment to us. Yeah, they did. Yeah. Okay. Um, so anything we do here would not interfere with any future plans for our um, expanding the project. Doesn't commit so, us to anything. Right. right. Yeah. This, is, this was come up at, at our meeting. Right. right. And the idea is to get what some small but noticeable and important things I like out there. 
so the public can see that we're doing at taking actions on this report. Right. The question I have: Have you priced this out at, at all yet? We haven't gotten that. Far. Okay. So one one other question. Uh, and I agree completely with getting most bicycles off of those trails. What are you going to do with children? Well, they, they, well that's why I if say you're the like speed five limit. years old and you're on a little bike, right. can you yeah, go? Yeah, I mean, we can use some discretion there. If the okay. parents are walking and the, the children have training wheel, I yeah. mean, yeah. Yeah, you're not um, you're not asking them to no, go on the roads. No, no. All right. All right. Do we have a rough ballpark? Because time is of the essence with us. We're trying to get this stuff done by the Fourth of July. Where is is there a ballpark number we're comfortable with, as far as letting them in, not have to come to another meeting to go out and get the stencils and the signs? I mean, if we can do it within board? the budget, can we can we do it? I, I mean, we have, our, budget, we have a we have a road, give us a, we have a highway seed number. Yeah, I don't know what the number is. Well, I, I, if we can yeah. do it within the highway budget, all right, the I'll, way it's approved, I'll, can I'll we, make a motion to yeah. approve. This okay. stuff that can be done within the budget, okay. and to do it as soon as possible, what time is it? Yes. And we'll report to you what we yeah what we come well, up. I think this would be real important okay. for people to see yeah. and to get it into people's heads who are coming yeah. up. Yeah. Uh, uh, about Jim, the signs. If those are the bike route signs, those are probably pretty standard. To, they they, they should be. Yeah, I can make. I have got several vendors, and I can mm -hmm. make some right. inquiries as to who's got what. Also, do we need to make a motion or do something to bring the speed limit down? Yes, to you, miles there is a process. You. You don't have to hold a public hearing. That's the good news. We can, right? we can piggyback it on top of our. Uh, well, no, you can if money. you if you want to hold a public hearing. You can. You do not have to. I, 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 I would I, like. I I think we should <coughs> hold. I don't think it's a public hearing in the sense to get input. Right. But I think we ought to uh, have some kind of a public. Information. Announcement yeah, yeah. information oh, yeah. meeting that we we're doing this. Yeah, that's right. important. We're yes. just going to do this. Yeah, yeah, we want you. Important. You got to get your speed down to twenty five. We're gonna. We're thinking of narrowing the lanes down. This is you yeah. know, and I'm. There are going to be people there. I'm sure are going to complain. Yeah. My question was, what? does this apply to Triple I Road? No. Too? No. So Triple I the, is a state road. Okay, and and the speed limit on that? Yeah, we can't can it do it. Thirty five or. Yeah. No, that would, that would take the state. Um, is it 35? It is 35. It is 35. Okay. So that triple, that's Triple I Road going yeah. to the mountain. Now, how about Triple I Road coming to the back and to town? I don't it's think there 25. is a speed limit sign there on it. There is a 25 mile. Yeah. Yeah. That yeah. one's 25. Yeah. 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 So West we could kind of keep that. I mean, we ought to ask far service. I mean, we don't want people going 35 on that. I liked it. Okay, so the process. You have in your packet um, a couple of letters, one from Jim and one from Dave, right. mm -hmm. starting on, let me just make sure I have it here. 47, is it? Uh, page 45, yeah. Which is Dave's letter. Yeah. Um, and then you have uh, Jim's letter. Yeah. The alteration of limits just says that the local authorities uh, shall determine by an engineering or traffic investigation which the letters are sufficient yeah. for, Dave? The letters and your pedestrian. Yeah. and your pedestrian study. And, presentation. Um, and shall declare a reasonable and safe prima facie limit on the roads. So it is totally up to you. Uh, and you can change them. Um, so um, As you I can. Outlined in the letter. Yeah. Uh, just my recommendation yeah. is to, like you said, uh, make an announcement. Right. Give okay. some opportunity that we can get the word out. Can uh, we authorize the implementation limit. of a 25 mile an hour speed limit with the timing to be at the discretion of the public safety officer? I think no. I think the board needs to. The have board a needs to have a time. definitive date. Well, you're gonna have to tell us the date. <laughs> is July okay. one unreasonable? All depends on the signage. Right, because signage. yeah, and it, and I would suggest that we. we how about how about you come back to the next meeting, the next public hearing, right. which is going to be in a next selectman's meeting right. with a date yeah. that you want. Okay. Yeah, that's so next Wednesday we'll have a next date. Wednesday and hopefully we can do it by July first so we can have it. 
for m maximum impact. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Yeah. All right. Anything else on that, Margaret? Oh. Bill? No. All right, let's move on. Uh, Are you setting up the cot in your office? What? Are you setting up the cot in your office? Oh, it's fine, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Do we need you guys for the Mary Wright easement? Well, you need at least Chris. I don't think yeah. you need Dave. All right. No. Why don't we, Chris, why don't we knock that one out? Okay. Yeah. Sure. So you should have a letter from yeah. me. Yes, yeah. I did. Yes. Yes. Uh, yeah. Yeah. So so I, I think that, and I, I wasn't able to find it anywhere, but I believe that when uh, Windsor Hill Development went in, that, that was a requirement right from here. the, oh, it is there. It's right here. The, okay. the easement itself is yeah. in the file. Right. So I have. So that's very, very important for public safety to have a second means of egress um, or ingress to uh, Windsor okay. Hill. Okay, fine. And, it is, the and again, I, I, in my letter, I, it is an evacuation route from the mm -hmm. school to the students yep. that are on foot because there's a bus. That's where the bus is supposed to pick them up in the big parking lot. And yep. really get to that I, I would again reiterate, I think my position is relative to Mary Wright is this is her road. Yep. And, it's and she is, and we have an easement and a right to use it for, in a, a public service emergency. And but we have no obligation or responsibility to maintain it. Well, I think our obligation is to maintain it in a clean, usable. Right. The what language is, of what's what, the what language? is in there, I believe, clean, is being passable, in safe condition We've is the language problem, in the right. easement. I think it's being maintained it is, as the easement dictates. Right. right. And, and that's we'll what my letter that. says. My letter says yeah. that it, it is. Jim and I have looked at it. It's clean, it's passable, it's safe. Yep. And we're not paving it. That's and that was her question. Right. And I agree so, with you hundred percent. Okay. Do we have to take any action on that? Uh, well I, I would like a vote of the board that you concur with that and that I can send that letter to her. Here's here, I think it's very important. I I just ask you to change back to that we believe the fire lane. Okay. Is clean, passable, and safe. We are not making any comment on the road. Okay. It's just that we must maintain the fire lane in that condition. Okay. Okay. So we'll get rid of the word easement area and yep. say fire, fire, fire lane. Fire lane. Fire lane. Yes. Well, it should reflect it exactly the as the easement, easement is written. Yep. Right. Okay. And uh, or otherwise, you can interpret that to mean it's our responsibility to maintain the road. Correct. That's not Got true. It. We I just need to maintain a fire lane. And I assume maintenance of a fire lane is at your discretion. Okay. Can you run a fire truck over it? <laughs> and I will make the motion to allow Mark to send the letter to Mary Wright regarding the fire lane maintenance. Right. Uh, with the noted changes where easement is struck and fire lane is replaced. Got it. Anyone second that, please? I'll um, second it. All, all, all in favor? Aye. Aye. It's passed. Okay. Great. Uh, water and sewer line repair options. Thank you, Dave. Yeah, Reggie, are you here? Just do we need anything else? Oh, this is fun. Okay. Just hey, Reggie, yeah, as long as we interrupted, I, yeah. I'm sorry. Go Margaret. ahead. <laughs> if I can just say that the, the committee or the working group has not seen that presentation yet. Oh, yeah. So okay. It's a great presentation. Yeah. All right. Uh, they're, they're in favor of doing this, I assume. That's yes, where it came out that's of it came oh, out of oh, all right. <laughs> yes, they just haven't seen that oh, okay. official yeah. presentation. Got Reggie, it. I just wanted to mention one thing before I forget it. Um, as part of the uh, domicile request, um, I was informally letting somebody on the school board know when we saw something that came yeah. through that had school-aged children in it, whether it be... Um, grade school or high school because they have to put together a budget okay. and you know mm -hmm. it, it doesn't matter so much the kids coming into the elementary school other than they know about it mm -hmm. but there's a big expense associated with sending a resident mm -hmm. kid to the high school okay. so so I would just mention that to Mike Fergal my neighbor whenever I saw one of those and he would either know about it or not know about it at, yeah. at the time but okay. they appreciate that notification I know all right 
Okay. On to the repairs by Mr. Ducharme. Okay. Well, repairs. Repairs to the water and yeah, the sewer yeah. lines. So, um, yeah, which uh, one do you want to talk about first? Well, the only one. Uh, let's yeah, talk it about. Make any difference? Sorry. Let's <laughs> talk about the sewer project first because I like this rural development. And we have some numbers and some ideas and a time frame. Okay, so page forty-two. Uh, Look at that. So, um, go ahead. I After going back and forth with the CMA engineers and, and, and everything else, um, it was kind of a collective effort in order to take a look at the uh, system that is in place and what could be um, improved as far as what we've seen in the field every time um, we have these situations. So I think on the front of the memo that you have, there is some pricing, of, you know, there's, there's an, action, an action list with a proposed budget. There's several things that we can do out of the operating budget, just as a, just as a matter of uh, maintenance on our part. Um, as we all know, due to the low use and the low volume of this particular system, um, there are some things that we can do, like pumping the system out, flushing it, cleaning it out, so that we maintain maximum flow inside the collector pipe itself, not the service lines, not, the, not from the individual tanks, but from the, the main collector, and make sure that is free and clear, because that seems to be our main issue. Um, we can also, for small dollars, um, we can go into each one of the existing manholes and replumb them and put isolation valves on the lines that are in those manholes with a, a Y, a clean out Y that goes in different directions. Being able to jet that size line, 400 feet is basically the maximum length that you can go. And um, so if we take each one of the manholes and we replumb it, if you will, a little bit, so we can isolate lines, we can pump them out, we can, for, you know, we can force water into them, and we can also access those lines with a snake, with a power snake, you know, with a, that jets water and or steam. Um, we, can, we can pretty much reach all over everything. We go 400 feet this way, we come back 400 feet. There's only one section that we can't, which is, which is in the vicinity of Margaret's driveway. And, um, and we have discussed the possibility about putting in an additional uh, sewer manhole there and, and going down a doghouse style manhole, going down, setting it over the, the existing line, cutting that line, and doing the same type of plumbing modifications there. So. And that would give us the reach to so be able to overlap. Would be the whole system would be accessible. reachable. So are you proposing to do that? Well, well yes. It's, it's, I would, if you were no. asking me what my recommendations were, would be, I would highly recommend that that be part of it. We, we recommend everything on that list except the last item, which says summer of 2016, right. which is insulating around the the culverts because that entails extensive right. road cuts at several different places. And if we do the other items in this right. proposal, we may not have to cut those right. lines. So what or cut those if, if what I think I understand what you're doing with the valves and the clean and flush. Are you proposing that in January that you would go out there and routinely flush these things? Yes. How often do you think? They start, we, we it tried. didn't happen in January, right? No, well, I mean, when it, No, I, but we I, keep it clean. But the, some the, the issue was some of the keeping it clean. may start okay. in, in January. So okay. I think, I think a, if we get on a monthly schedule about, you know, check going in and being, having the ability to very quickly flush these lines out. But first we've got to take care of some 
infiltration problems that we're having in the in manholes the themselves. themselves. And for that, we need to we need to go in and, and try to waterproof. The, the manholes are painted, and they were quote unquote waterproof when they were installed. Water infiltration is filling up every one of them, to a, some to a lesser degree than others, and it's problematic because when they start to, when the frost goes down very deep and these manholes start to freeze up, ice forms and you can't don't can't access mm, the valves. valves. Right. So what we're proposing is to to do a full blown effort. There are companies out there who will waterproof in confined spaces. I would recommend we do that. I would recommend that we um, put some. Um, there are. Uh, what the heck do they call those? There's a, there's a, a unit that can be put down inside your frame underneath your cover that prohibits any type of infiltration from the road, any water. And uh, I would recommend that we insulate the top, the, the covers, so that uh, we prevent some of this freezing problem. So if we eliminate the water that's infiltrating into the sewer manholes, and we put the insulation around the top the same way we insulated the um, uh, meter pits, which we Didn't had problem. zero problem with them last winter, which is the worst winter we've seen for frost in a long time. If we do that type of installation, then I think that um, our, between our maintenance and, and being able to flush the line. And, and being able to get the ability to the ability to flush the line and the ability to quickly react if there is another problem right. in the lines. Yeah, let me ask you a question. We have water lines out on River Road. Mm -hmm. have we, and to my knowledge, we've never had a problem with a water line freezing. Are water lines at a different depth than the sewer lines? Uh, generally speaking. They're lower. Generally. But they're also connected to every house. Right. Yeah, but we have the same problem with, mm -hmm. you know, with not not very much usage. No, there. Yeah. No, but there there is a little bit more than. But what the lines we're are the generally city. lower. The water lines. They, they they have a tendency to be because because the, the especially with like gravity, they can they can be higher as well, but. Um, a lot of times, you, you, you're burying your water line. Sewer lines, water line generally will freeze before a sewer line. Yeah, that, that's why I asked the question. I would think that the water line would tend to freeze mm -hmm. first. And, and um, But we never really completely, have never been able to determine whether the blockage on River Road was freezing or was just accumulated sludge, right? Yes. That, that froze after it accumulated. Well, right. I mean, the low-use sludge right. that got in there, right. and it, mm -hmm. it created a blockage because it didn't move. But mm -hmm. it might not necessarily have been just freezing. That, that's very that's very true. It could be very true. Could be true. Yeah, we don't know. Mm -hmm. But I think I think with the with with the maintenance schedule of of uh, forcing water through those lines. Right. I think I think is it, it, we've got a water line out there. Is it is it conceivable to, to to put an automatic system in to just constantly bleed water in there? No. Not for, not off our water system. That's a cross connection. That's problem. a no no. Mm -hmm. Really, even with backflow check valves. That I think DES would not look favorably upon. Mm. But Okay. Well. Okay. I had one question on this. It said, as f add freeze inhibitor to septic tanks of seasonal low use residents. I don't think it's going to do anything. They are, yeah. they, uh, presently, they're, CMA informs us that there are several products on the market today that are wastewater treatment friendly mm -hmm. and that inhibit freezing. And if we were to have some of the lower use people, I don't. We haven't determined whether it's going to be a town function or whether it's going to be a resident function. To add some of this inhibitor, say you know you're going to be away for two weeks or you're not coming back for another month, 
you know, put some of this down your, your put five gallons of this down your toilet. And flush a couple of times. Flush it a couple of times and get uh, your pump before you to leave. activate it and get it into your the, the, your the design of these septic tanks, holding tanks, are being used as essentially the surge tank. Can you, generally, how do, how do they work? Are they, I mean, when they work as a septic tank, they tend to be full all the way to the lid Correct. with water. Yeah. Yep. Is when they're when they're working in this mode, uh, do they does it wait for the whole thing to be filled no. and then pump it down halfway, or we tend to just use the, it at the bottom? Uh, it'll mostly stay. The, you, I think I'm not quite sure if every one is exactly the same. Right. Sullivan's and Britons are different because they have the E ones and they oh. only have about 90 gallons of storage. The E ones are the in-house units, right? Uh, the, they're the, the plastic. They, it's the plastic one right. for the exterior installation. Right. So, but somebody's like Margaret. Margaret's your your septic tank's going to be about fifteen hundred gallons. Right. So if your floats are set for one foot there. and yeah. three feet, then it's going to allow two feet in that tank to build up before the pump kicks. Right. So, so the float. So, so we don't just generally like know what the float yeah. levels because those tanks are are those six, large. seven feet deep, right? Yeah. right. In many cases, exactly. they're big. So what we what we have is that in the case of say Margaret, if you're there alone with no guests, it's taking quite a while for your <laughs> for your tank pump to, to come on yeah, because you you got to fill up the tank and your pump isn't coming on that much, right? So therefore, it's not pumping out into the system as if you had an E1 with oh. only 90 gallons. Mm -hmm. You know, those those pumps work more. So, so I might be one of the people that ought to be putting this stuff down the toilet to keep it from freezing until. Is that you may, right? You may be a good candidate. Yeah. The only thing that I'll comment on is, again, to my knowledge, we never had a septic system freeze over there ever. Mm -hmm. Right. So I, I'm not sure adding, you know, I, I think it's going to hurt if it's not going to hurt well, the sewage treatment Well, it's more for the service plant. line and to get it out into the collector right. pipe yeah. than it is for but none of the, the none of the, even even the case of David Britton's, did that free, was that in our line that it froze or was it in the line between his E1 and our yeah. line? It was in the line, the best I could determine, it was in the line between his addition right. and his E1. Yeah, it was an interior line. Right. Oh, it was an interior yeah. line that froze. That's that's what we believe yeah. froze. And so what are we going to do with this? Are we going to... Well, it, the total, the high end of all of it, with engineering and everything, would be about $30,000. Okay, to do all of, to do all of these, this work. But that includes the the summer of 16. So if you take that out, say $25,000, we could do, we could put in the new manhole, which we really yeah. feel we should do. Big we can re-plummet and, and be ready as we can be for the winter All right, and do we out. have that money in our... Um, well, it's part, it would be funds? part of the $100,000. Right. So we're cutting into the noon peak money by right. the twenty-five thousand dollars right now. The um, we had seventy-five thousand, either seventy-five or eighty thousand for new people. Right. So but this is a priority. This has to. No, be no, done. I understand that, but that's where the money will come from. The only thing you, know, you realize that what you're committing yourself to here is is in the dead of winter. True. Yeah. Is having to go out there. Probably. If you have to, if, you know, we might not need this. We well, you we can't can. wait for it to freeze. You know that's the problem. You're going to be going out at least once a month and doing this. Yeah, you, you're going to have to. And that's what you know, I don't like about the system. January and February, you're going to have to go out there and flush these lines. What's the alternative? Well, at least it won't be snowing in the manhole. <laughs> I mean, I, I don't know what the, there is. Well, no there is no alternative. alternative. They've concluded that the 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 thought that you know you could just put a wire down that would generate some heat. No, we can't. It's not practical. It, it, those systems are only good to a maximum of about, the longest run I've seen on the market is about 240 feet. 
Yeah, but we also need a way to main. We've learned through this experience that we have no way of maintaining the system, getting to all the points of it where there could be a problem. Correct. Without tearing up all our, you know. That's right. We need to make modifications. To right. It. Absolutely. So these modifications, this twenty-five thousand dollars, will give us the modifications we need. That's right. To be able to access all right. along the line. That's the biggest thing. We can go out right. now and snake if we put this extra manhole in, and we and we make the changes to the plumbing. And we should get this back from RDA. I'll throw that in again. We will ask yeah. rural development to do that. So I think we should do it. That's just my thought. I certainly don't have any problem with any of this uh, with any of this work. I'm not. It's a roll of the dice whether I think it's yeah. going to fix it. I, I think there certainly if you go out and 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 you know so if you're going to put valves and put quick quick disconnect valves whatever you got to do to make this exactly. really easy because I think what's going to happen is you're going to get stuck going out there. Well, the other the other part to this the replumbing bill is that it allows a company like Rowles to come in and, and exactly. snake the line where right. they can't snake it no, now. No, I've got you. And, no, I and don't, so, don't disagree so with I think that. that's also, it's not just the flushing, right. it's being able to access it. Well, if that's it a problem. Does, we didn't know we didn't have access right. to this. We didn't, that's that's right. why I think RDA needs to know that we need right. it because we, we yeah. sold ourselves short. The other yeah. question that I might have is where we sold waterproof manholes. We fought with the contractor about the, the waterproofing of the manholes and we withheld money from him to make some repairs. They did not, that obviously has not fixed the problem 100%, but we can't prove where the water's coming from. That was the problem. All right. It could be infiltration from the top, from the covers. Okay, okay just so, got you. So this isn't something new to us. No, no, we've well, been we dealing can, with it since it was installed, it and we withheld money from the contractor. All right, did we, do we still have the money? Oh, yeah, we, we kept it. So how yes. much did we cut? 10000 So that's 10 out of the 25 well, we need. No, but it's rural <laughs> development money, so we got to get it from rural development. Well, all right. I'll leave that to you. Yes. Right. We're going right. to, that is, we're going to fight so for that. So we agree we're going to proceed with this path, everyone? Um, yeah. I just want to ask, how many properties above Britain and Sullivan are on the system? Five. So it's Fergal and me and... Fergal, you... Um, Reuben, Rose. Dale Reuben. Rose, right? Lash. Aren't Rose and on? Lash and, and um, uh, Tony Fallon. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, I think, aren't both Reubens on? No, 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 just one. Matt's not on. Not no. Matt's not on. And the problem is, is until we can go or several winters right. with yeah. this, we've got to make I it mean, work. You, you know, right. you're not going to get anybody else to sign up. Right. Right. <laughs> yeah. I. The other thing that uh, you might want to have a conversation with Dana White about, because uh, I think he did most of these installations into the old septic systems. Mm -hmm. Could he, did, he? He did some of them, and Lee Johnston did. Yeah. Okay. Three. Could they change the float levels such that? Maybe the tanks, you know, if you so need them the emptied pipe, more the frequently, you know, let them fill up more pump. and then let them Bring pump them. more yeah. frequently, you know, so that you're constantly bleeding a little bit of something out there. Is yeah. there some way they could, I don't know if they're even just We can make not. the pumps yeah. come on more by putting the right level down. Right. And, and let the and tanks fill. Right. I well, mean, the other, they won't freeze. The reason they don't freeze now is because that's a huge, that's 1,500 gallons of water down there. It would take an awful lot of cold to get that to freeze. Correct. And but, the, you the know, material is not going to allow it to freeze. But the problem that I see either. with that, Bill, is that the service line from that pump to our, to our right. main, if you put more water, allow more water to build up in the tank, yeah. that the service line isn't going to get as much use. I would, I would argue well, that when would lower it's a one-time fill. It, it, you know, it, it doesn't matter if you got, you got, a, you got a thousand gallons in there that you yeah. basically are just, you know, we, and we're right. We're talking about the same thing, which is pumping a hundred gallons at a clip. Oh yes, yes, right. right. Out, Sorry, yes. Regardless of how much is right. Bottom, I see what really you mean. Matter. Just do it at yeah. the top, not care. at the bottom. Yeah. That's I, what know. we were. Gotcha. And couldn't, yeah. can they adjust that? And if they can, maybe that mm -hmm. might help you. Yep. I don't know. Maybe. Yeah. No, it's uh, one of the things that's on my list of things to right. talk to All right. contractors Let's around. go up to Cascade Ridge for a moment now. <laughs> Not as much fun. 
I don't understand. This is going to be translated to me. Okay, so basically, correct me if I'm wrong, Jim. We're talking about going from Diaz's service connection, the corporate stop at Diaz's, right? Right. Up to Cifalillo's. Yeah. Okay. Cifalillo's house or Cifalillo's service stop? His curb stop. His curb stop, which is in, in his, his driveway. driveway. Right. Okay. So that whole thing would be exposed. The main would be wrapped with a an electrical um, heat tape, basically, heat wire around the main. Okay. Now, is that just the main between Diaz's and Cifalopas? The main, okay. And then. So that's each, what, about 30 feet? Oh, no, no, it's 300, no. three or 400 feet. Diaz and Cifalillo. Not Diaz, Zimboni. Okay, okay. I'm sorry, All Zimboni's right. driveway okay. up to Cifalillo's. It's about 300 feet, okay. roughly, I think, I is what it. Joe... Okay, so okay. that distance, wrap the main. Then from the main to the on the town side of the curb stop, wrap those service connections for Zimboni, Diaz, and Cifalillo. Okay. So we're now heating all of the town's part. Recommend to the homeowners that from inside their house to the curb stop, there is in-pipe uh, wires that we talked about that could be put in. Um, we recommend, maybe we pay for it, but we recommend that they have the electrician do it mm -hmm. and put it in if they want to protect their service line to their house from the curb stop. There is no way for us to put a wire inside of our main or our service connections because it just doesn't work in that size. There's not okay. a product. There's not a product that will. Okay. okay. So, um, and and that would be the way that we would, and then basically we would plug it in or turn it on, uh, or whatever the setup would be, when temperatures fall below a certain level. But it means exposing that line all the way from Zimboni's driveway to Cifalillo's. To Cifalillo's driveway. It's in the road. It's in the middle of the road, so uh, you gotta it's on the side of the or road. side of the road. But you do cut across right. the road. You're from gonna. Dia, you're, Dia that's right. Okay. Yeah. So we don't have a cost on this yet. We don't because we just want to make sure yeah. you are okay with that because it's not inexpensive. As an alternative, it's it's not inexpensive to do. Right? No, it's not. Yeah. Let me, you know, uh, I'm thinking, um, is it possible to to just keep slowly bleeding water through these the way like like in a hotel? Well, a hotel would do this to keep the water warm on the 12th floor. What they do is they mm -hmm. put a little circulating pump, so they're so they're within their internal system. They're basically bleeding water and it's sending it right back into the water line somewheres down the road. So you create a loop, so the water moves. Well, it never loop, sits in the a pipe. Loop system is better than a dead end. There's no doubt. About right. That. So, so could if that. if you're going to do this, is it possible to to? That's to, one of the things that we. You'll had, think about is maybe maybe it's cheaper than wrapping mm -hmm. that stuff because I would think a loop system would also solve the problem. The only way that we could see to do a loop system would be to head towards the reservoir tanks on the other side of Cephalillo's house. Well, but that's not what he's saying. Loop it oh. back into itself. Right, loop it right back put, into itself. Put a pump right, right into the main. So you, you basically off. just run a little pump down you, and it pumps it right back into the same main. Well, I don't even think you need to because of the pressure, Bill. No, I think the you pressure, could, there is no, there no you do. Because, okay. because you've got everything at the same pressure, the water's not going to flow. Okay. So you've got to have a little bit like of something to push it back. Right. Yeah. The, the what about a new rule of thumb had been. That Cephalillo was to leave his water running. His water running. And Which has he the did same it effect. this year. Yeah, right. right. That has the same effect as. So even, he, he, was, he had his water running? No, he did Previous not. years he did. Previous years, Previous he, did. years he had. Yeah. And his is, is there a way room, we could, is there any way we could build something that would make his water leak? I mean, you don't pay for it. 
I don't know. We could put that pump that you're talking about. Well, in no, his you would have a pump just put a just you know open up a faucet. Right. <laughs> you know, get his permission to do it. I mean, and let it flow. I mean, he lives up there on a damn spring, right? Right. <laughs> <laughs> but it it's like anything else. Uh, if the system is not being used, it'll wear like we have. Yeah, but, but for, no, but if if, if if he had if he had had his water turned on and slowly dripping, do you think it would have frozen? I can't sure. say for sure, but right. I know that this year he did not, and in previous years he, he had. did. It had, and we had, had not had a problem. Why don't we, we contact him and problem. talk? Bring that point up. Well, anyway, as, as just some suggestions. I mean, as we're researching hey, this, yeah. Why don't we, on a parallel basis, yeah, talk I, to the Cipollola family and see if we can get a some kind of system or some kind of mechanism to have the water run a little bit. I mean, for example, we could go to the. So, it, does the line end there? The line yes. ends yeah. just above Diaz's driveway. But and there's no way we could put a little tiny valve in there or something, bleed water off, and just dump it. It wouldn't be the first time in this town that. A water pipe is run all all winter. Well, it's you know I I, I mean I, I hate to say I mean this is not New York City. I don't think we're hurting the environment. I mean if yeah. we can do it in some way, I mean well, it's all well water. I like I the mean, idea we're not... of a lollipop <laughs> loop there yeah. with a little pump. Well, that, that might be, be more cheaper. expensive than the yeah. heat tape. Well, well anyway, no, whatever you can do. To, but yeah. you, but if you can get the water moving, right, it's, mm -hmm. it it right. might solve the problem. But, right. yeah. Okay. And it was our water main that froze. Is that correct? Yeah. Well, well, we don't the know. Service, no. We don't well, know. no, we the, know. The sequence of events, just yeah. so you understand it. When we went up there, because there was no water at Cephalillo's, and there was no, um, and Diaz had reported there was no, we had water at the blow-off. The main the blow-off is at the very end of our water main. So there was water there after the problems were reported. Oh, really? Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. So our That's belief is that it started in their service lines and slowly spread to the main. Because Which, then we lost water at the blow-off. Because we lost water at the blow-off a couple of days later. So you're, su you're, you're actually suggesting if we could get them to put the little heating thing in their piece of pipe. Down to their... They can only that go... Might that right. might, in fact, solve the problem. Not the entire problem. Well, there's still a service connection between our main and the curb stop, oh, right. well, which is the test. Because these, these can't go through a valve. No, 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 I understand that. But but I thought you said that you think it froze first in his line, and then it, then it froze in our line. Well, his line, it, it could have started at the curb stop and worked okay. back. It could have started at the... Uh, yeah, there's between the curb stop and the corporation, which is attached to our line. Okay. Yeah. All right. Well, let's see what we can do. Keep investigating. That. It's going to have to come yeah. up with some Yeah, so money. You're okay. we'll come back to you hopefully at the next meeting with, uh, with the numbers. Numbers and maybe in and another more world. alternatives. Yeah. Okay. Okay. All right, let's move on. Any correspondence? Oh, uh, did did you vote? Did was there a vote on the sewer? Are you okay with moving forward with spending money on the sewer? There wasn't a vote. To come from the new peak right. paving okay. money. Would someone like to make that motion? If we could get not to exceed, uh, well, uh, uh, as long as we, as long, I don't have a problem we're with. We're going to look at right. rural well, development. We're going to look at whether we can get rural, rural development yes. Money yes. to do this. But w these are these are repairs though that we'll need to start planning. Right. Right. So we can do them this summer. And that was, as I recall, a general road paving. Wasn't it a, there was a general road no, paving on the MP. And what's the sum of right. the, 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 the number would be not 000. to exceed twenty five thousand. I'll make that motion. Yeah. I I Can we have a second? Yeah, I'll second it. All in favor? Aye. 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 All right, correspondence. Okay. Jim, I had just one other Thank thing you, before you leave. What's what's the um, um, stone thing that's uh, up on 49, getting close to Windsor Hill. There's a, there's a, the last house. 
mm -hmm. before you get to Jennings Peak Road. Yeah. Out mm -hmm. in their yard, there's a stone thing. There's been equipment out there. I didn't know. Oh, they're doing oh, work. The, yeah, the, the co-op was uh, swapping out a switch. Uh-huh. And um, what when they pulled the switch, they could not set the new switch because the, the water pressure had crushed the vault, the, the concrete vault. Okay. And so they had to call in Lee Johnston. And I mean, you've got big electric cables in there like this that are sitting in four feet of water and mud. And yeah. it's, it's, not uh, pretty it's quite a mess. So they. Uh, so they're replacing, replacing the Replacing that. And then they've got That's to do a little vault. drainage work to try and get the, the water to go back the way it used to go. Yeah. yeah. OK. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Yep. Okay. All right. Correspondence. I I do not have anything okay. for you at this. Time. Privilege of the floor too. No, that's not looking good either. Uh, board concerns and directives. Um, the meetings that are going to be held with the FBI agent um, the next two Fridays. Do we think that this room is going to be big enough to accommodate the people that will come? I don't know what to expect. What do you think? I mean, I, I'm okay doing it somewhere else. Yeah, by that time, the school's out. Um, we just would have Is to work out by right. the 12th? I don't think so. Oh, no, no, not so. the 12th. No. So, so we'd, so. well, we'd have to be in the multi purpose room. I don't think it's much bigger than lunch, this. I'd, I think I'd rather, I think I'd rather bring the, the chairs quite frankly, over here. So we're going to set up what? And we can move the stuff out of the fire bays if it's a nice it's day and we can put people in there. Okay. So what are we planning on having chairs? How many chairs? I'm just curious. Well, we have 50 chairs okay. or 60 chairs fit in here. Okay. Okay. And is he making a formal presentation of any kind or um, is he just answering I questions? I believe he might have remarks at the beginning but he's mm -hmm. mostly answering questions okay. and I know that he's meeting with individual people either prior or after or whatever mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, but he has made specific appointments okay. to meet with people okay. All right. so are you okay with down here or in the bays yeah if we you... get 50 yeah, we, we can get, get 50 in chairs in here. Mm -hmm. I mean, I don't know that there would be more than 200 people attending it, so they, may, so, they might all yeah. want to come to the first one. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> really well, I don't know. Did, did they spread them out, or did they invite all the condo associations that were. I think it was a general a, just announcement. Just a general, just a general announcement. announcement. Yeah, and we're I all going to show up at the first one. Right. show up at the first one. Right, yeah. yeah. And I would. And I would think from the condos, you could probably count on five or six people from each condo yeah. association. So, that so I don't know what that would be. Yeah. That would be 50 or 60 people. At so least. I'd err on the side of being able to accommodate that number. Friday. Huh? That's Friday. Yeah. This Friday. Mm -hmm. and we'll talk to Dave and yeah. Chris. And What's we'll he going to say? This, you know, he's, we, you know, that's what's got me puzzled. I don't Maybe know we have the inside on well, I, I thought what he was trying to do was to get feedback from the people that were injured so that he could provide some testimony to the judge in terms of sentencing. I thought that was really the whole purpose. Yeah, I didn't thing. take it as that. I took it as more of an informational meeting where people were going to ask him questions where he's not going to be able to answer a lot of the questions people want, I think. I, I have no idea. Well, I, and I don't think Dave and Chris know specifically what he's going to say either. I think every yeah. And what time is that? 10 o'clock and 1 o'clock. I got it in here. Yeah. Is, is it 9? 9 to no, 11? I think it's 10 o'clock. Uh, 10 to 12 and then 1 to 3? Um, hold on. What? Uh, this is this Friday? The first one is this first Friday. First one is this Friday. Yeah. Um, it says there's one at 10 o'clock and one at 1 o'clock. This is according to what to, came out. 10 to 12 on, on Nixle. It doesn't say yeah. 10 to 12. It simply says 10 o'clock and another one at 1 o'clock. Yeah. 
on both the 12th and the 19th. So on the 12th, it's at 10 o'clock? Yeah. 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 Uh, are we, you know, do we need to be here? Well, I think one of us should be at least one of each session. Well, I plan to come um, to the 10 o'clock because I'm just on the curious 12th. as to what people are asking and what he has to May say maybe, about Maybe it. we could do that. Margaret, I mean, could you then yeah. send out an email with yeah. whether you feel that you know, it, we ought to be at all of these or not? Or, that would be great. Or, yeah. no, it's a waste, you know, if, this is nothing. If he's, if he's okay with it, do you do you want us to just, it'll be on autopilot, but do you want us to um, you stream it? I, I, he, somebody's going to have to ask him the question whether he wants a public record of this made. Yeah. Okay. Good. I, I mean, it's his decision. No all right. Yeah. I mean, I don't you have a problem, but I don't know. I mean, now, now, what are you going to do? Show. Is he going to be able to show, show it to the judge? Yeah. yeah. I mean, yeah. if he wants, if he wants a record, we'd be more than glad to do it. Okay. All right. I just would ask that only one of you come to each, to each meeting. Yeah. Right. That's right. all. Right. Just so it doesn't have to be public. Gotcha. That's so all. So I'll, I'll show up. Yeah. Okay. yeah and then Do we have to give public notice that we're playing golf together tomorrow? <laughs> no, but actually, he's following us with we a do. camera. <laughs> he's, got, he's, got, he's got a golf you're gonna be on. You're going to be on television all day long. <laughs> Brian's really enjoying this, I can tell you. All right. So, Mark will go to the first course. one and let us know if we need to be meeting yeah. and right. the salient points of that. Yeah. All right. Great. All right. Uh, excellent. Do we have anything for non public? Not now. Not anymore. All right. Right. We don't need Can to get a motion. Anybody. A motion to adjourn. So moved. Seconded. I'll second it. All in favor? Aye. Aye. We're done.